Hello and welcome to Poseidon Tech. I'm Theo and today's tutorial is about the KNX Gateway for the Paradox Evo Alarm System from LOSYS. To use this KNX Gateway you will need the Paradox Evo Alarm System equipped with PRT3 module for RS-232 communication. The LOSYS Evo KNX module requires an external 12 volts power supply which can be provided through the red-black connector of PRT3 interface. You will also need an RS-232 connection between the PRT3 and the EVO KNX interface using the provided DB9 connector. Let's take a look at the connected EVO KNX interface with the PRT3 module. Let's dive now into the configuration. The first step is to configure the EVO Alarm system using Babyware PC software. Double click on EVO Control Panel. From Control Panel window, click on Users. Add a new user and name it KNX. Assign a password and allow access in the partition that you want to control through KNX. From Security option, I recommend to change the user type from Regular to Master and allow this user to be able to arm alarm system in stay mode. Leave the other settings to default ones. When done, click on OK button. Close control panel window. Double click on PRT3 module. To enable the communication with the EVO KNX module, the following options must be selected in the PRT3 configuration. The serial port setup options are very important for establishing communication. It occurs though that these settings are not always properly written into the PRT3 module using Babyware software, so it is recommended to double check the PRT3 settings using the alarm keypad. Don't worry, we will do it later together. In this installation with 41 zones, I will enable zone status printing for zones 1 to 41. Enable also the following options from Report Options Messages. The only thing left is to send configuration to the EVO Alarm Panel. Now, let's check from the Alarm Keypad if the communication settings are properly written in PRT3 module. To access PRT3 Modules Programming Mode, tap on Menu button, tap on Advanced button, tap on Installer Programming, enter the installer code, the default one is 6x0, tap on System Programming, enter section 4003, enter the PRT3 Module Serial Number. You will find it on Babyware or on the PRT3's module sticker. Enter section 016. Notice that communication options are currently disabled. We need to enable options 1, 2 and 4. Tap on Next and then Home button to exit programming mode. From the EVO Alarm System's perspective we are done. It's time for ETS6 programming. Open Catalog Panel. Navigate to LOSYS. Drag and drop EVO KNX Paradox interface in your project. First, let's check the parameters. I won't trigger any relay outputs in the alarm panel from KNX, so I will leave the PG options at their default value which is not used. I will monitor alarm zones from KNX, so use zone status must be set to used. Since I have 41 zones in my alarm system, I will select 48 as the number of zones. I'm using zones 1 to 41, so I will leave the zone offset at 0. I don't need virtual inputs, so let's move on. 
I have one area, so the default value of one is okay. The area status object can be configured to send only the changes to on values, off values, or both. I will leave it to on off. In the user code field, we will enter the code from the KNX user that we created in Babyware. I use the 4 digit code, so the user code length is 4 in my case. I will set the option Use Power Supply Status to Used to enable AC failure and battery failure objects. PG and Zone Startup Behavior refers to the internal status of group objects after restart. If you select Memory, will restore the state of group objects before power lost. I will leave the default option, which is Switch Off. Since I selected one area, Area 1 tab is generated to assign scenes to each area status. For example, in the arm status, I will assign scene 19th to turn off all lights when I arm the alarm and leave the house. In intrusion alarm, I will assign scene 18th to turn all the lights on. I have already created the group addresses based on the names of the alarm zones, so I will link group objects with the relevant group addresses. Next, I will link the group addresses from the different states of the alarm. Likewise with the group addresses for AC and battery failure. Lastly, I will link the scene group address to turn on the lights in the intrusion alarm and turn off the lights when arming the alarm system. The configuration is complete, so the only thing left is to download the configuration into the Evo KNX interface. To test it, I will use the Diagnostics Panel and Babyware Software. First, I will send group address Area 1 Arm with value ON to arm the alarm system. Please note that in Babyware's live events, the KNX user code was entered. When arming an alarm system, it starts an exit delay to give you time to leave your house and lock your door. So, if I read the value in Area 1 Exit Delay group address, it should be on. After a few seconds, the alarm system will be armed. The alarm system is now armed. An intrusion alarm was triggered. Allow me to disarm it by sending group address area 1 disarm with value trigger 1. The alarm system was disarmed by the user KNX. Back to the diagnostics panel, you will notice the sequence of alarm events. I sent the arm group address with value on, initiating alarm system in arming mode. The exit delay group address was sent with value on. The partial armed group address was sent with value on, confirming that the alarm system was armed. The motion detector in the living room was activated with value on, which triggered the alarm system. The alarm system then sent the group addresses intrusion alarm and siren on with value on. I then disarmed the alarm system by sending the disarmed group address with value 1, causing the alarm system to respond by sending the intrusion alarm, siren on and partial armed group addresses with value off. Finally, let's trigger some alarm zones to check if the relevant group addresses will be sent. Everything worked as expected. I really liked the Evo KNX interface, especially the fact that the parameters and group addresses were in ETS6 and not inside the alarm PC software. So, the alarm system installer has to create a user code and configure the PRT3 module to enable communication between PRT3 and Evo KNX interface. The rest of the programming, including group addresses, individual addresses, etc., will be handled by the KNX integrator directly in ETS6. In my opinion, when integrating different systems together, especially those not installed by the same integrator, everyone must be responsible for its own system. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below.
If you find our tutorials helpful, don't forget to like our videos and subscribe to our channel to stay updated with the upcoming KNX tutorials. Until then, happy KNXing and I will see you in the next episode.